Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the episode of Pat T's Performance. Today is like an experiment day, per se. As you guys know, I have my $10 Billy Goat. Um, does it come with the hose kit for the leaves? And I want to do the leaves in my backyard. And the hose kit is a couple hundred bucks. Now, is it worth spending it? Yeah, because I'm into it for so little. But, I'm cheap. In retrospect, I don't want to spend that. So I kind of wrote it off, and I put this thing up for sale, and I actually had somebody, I had it up for a thousand, right, and then I did the video uh, with you guys, and the more I watched it, the more I fell in love with it, and I said, there's just no way, I'll never come across these one again, again, in my budget, per se. So, I started looking. Why? Oh, why? So I started looking at bigger. This is just gonna break. So I started looking at uh, you know those Troy built ones, um, and just wasn't. I don't know. I just a lot of them pop up for sale. You know what I mean? And you really don't see a lot of these machines up for sale. So that kind of set off in a long Wow. I'll be right back. So anyway, I put it up for sale for a thousand bucks. I actually had a couple of people. We're just going to check out this impeller. It's actually in really good shape. Um, and I had a couple people who wanted to buy it. And I had seller's remorse. So I put it back up for fifteen hundred. And I actually had a guy come, and my wife is arguing with me saying, don't sell it, don't sell it. And I said, for $1,500, I will. And the guy actually offered me thirteen. dollars And I said, no. So anyway, I had to go to Home Depot to get something. And I'm your typical guy. Um, I don't like to wander around. I like to go where I got to go, and that's it. And that mentality has bit me in the ass twice. I probably should have thought of this sooner. On the way to go to this thing to get something at Home Depot, this caught my eye. Do you know what this is? This is HVAC tubing. And hopefully I measure it right. Six inches. Right? Uh, of course not. Unless this is... Unless I could heat this. Oh, this is really short, too. And I thought, wait a minute. I could use this for a tubing on my billy gun. Is it not going to work? I could have swore. Let's see if you can stretch this out. And then I could have a leaf back here. And I could do my backyard. Watch it's like some crazy diameter on purpose. So that only they could use. Let me get some lube. Alright, that was really tight. Don't get six inches. They have seven or eight. So anyway, I just had this epiphany. Now the old noggin going. It just caught my eye as I was walking by. Like, I could try and use this for a tube. So they didn't have my size. They had the smaller, you know, tin stuff, like, for a dryer vent. So I'm hoping this works. Because then it'll save me a bunch of money. And it'll save me, potentially, from selling this machine. And the funny part is I do have one of those Troy built vacs I was telling you about. All right, so the goal is, I got these piles of leaves. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna blow one big pile, right? And see if I could suck them in with that tube. Of course, I have all these branches. See, this is why I need to have the shredder part, because I could do it all in one. So, uh, let's get you guys set up. Uh, I really should have ordered a random hose, but that's life. 
Oh, look, I ran over it. Oops. This is five feet, I think, or six feet. So let me see it, you guys. Let's get this thing fired up. Whew. Um, if you guys are going to do this, I would get a bigger hose than six. Don't ask me why I thought I would do that. Let this thing warm up for a little bit. So it works. But I feel like it sucks. You know, if you look at the walk behind one that I have, like a glorified lawnmower, you actually close this off completely so you get more sucking power. I don't know. Maybe some help here, guys. Maybe you guys know a little bit more than me. You guys are, uh, my first time ever using something like this, per se. Hmm. 
I don't know, maybe if I put like a wood board underneath to stop the sucking, then that's going to be a nice size wood board. I'm afraid to do cardboard because then I think it'll pull the cardboard up. But uh, as you guys see, I got my work cut out for me. Got to do my whole backyard. So anyway, I got to get it done. Just a quick, simple video, a little experimentation. Let me know what you guys think. This hose definitely needs to be longer, without a doubt. Um, if I do decide to go through with this, I will definitely get another hose. Alright, that's it. Experimentation done. It is what it is. It's only 30 bucks. You know what it is also, too? I can't find any videos of anybody using this machine with just a hose on it, too. So that's why I was pretty hesitant to spend a couple hundred bucks. Oh, back to the drawing board. Alright, guys. Later.